Okay, I'm going to show you the character in the AI system I put together. This character is a stand-in for my game, just to do the programming. He's actually going to have, this is his head and the full armored body with that. I just completed the head with normal maps and a quick texturing, but that's just a little bit of a feel of what it's going to be like. And the gun will go and be something else. I'm using these assets from my last game, the online game. But anyways, here's the components inside of the character. Field of view. I've also got these things to do the pathfinding. And this AI system works on it works on what is it called? It doesn't work on waypoints. It works on just determining where to go on its own. So you can pretty much put it in any scenario and it will adapt to the surroundings and go around to them. You see this one line right here? That's one of the rays. The other one's turned off. It's not on debug. But just to demonstrate here, you can change the surroundings as much as you want and the player will go. Let me just turn, make it a lot harder for him. Okay, right now it's running 150 frames, but usually it runs quite a bit faster, but due to the screen recording, it slows it down. Now this is just one section, well, one part of the AI. The other part is when it sees the character. And if you haven't noticed, inside of the character, there is a laser. You can't really see it because the floor is also red, but there's a red laser. And at the end of the laser, where it hits, there's a, see there's a laser. And it, the character's walking pretty nicely around the, uh, on the map. Well, I'm not sure how well it will do with the uh, screen recorder on, but I'm going to duplicate this character a few times. Let's go ahead with three and see how that goes. I've been able to run 20 at around 15 frames per second with high physics settings on. Well, there you go. Now it's 52 frames with three characters. The weapons on these characters are pretty high poly, so in the final thing, I'm going to reduce them, normal map them. Okay, so they're walking around. Pretty nice. And here is my little character, so I just bring him around here, like so. I'll show you what happens when. So, let's say, okay, so let's check out the situation here. We got this guy shooting pretty nicely, reloading too. As you can see, you see the shells coming out, there's smoke, and there's also a light that enables and disables whenever the bullet comes out. And there's also a muzzle flash, which needs to be uh, changed because it looks kind of silly from the uh, other angles besides front. But can't see you, he'll go to your last known position, and if he still can't see you after a couple seconds, he'll return back to his um, AI system where he'll do his automatic pathfinding. And let's get multiple enemy characters on my guy. It is a little bit glitchy, it's still in the prototyping process. I plan on making the characters interact with each other more than they do here. Here, if one sees me and another one standing right next to the same character and is looking the other way and cannot see me, but should, in a real scenario, be able to notice I'm there and adapt to attack me. So I'm going to have to add a interaction between the characters, probably with a static var but then also poses the issue with multiple characters in different scenes that can't see me. So, 
I got a few ideas on how I'd approach this. I'm not going to give them to you, as I'm probably not going to give you the scripts to the AI here, because it's so much work and don't want to give it away for free, you know. Well, anyways, hope you've enjoyed this, and I'm going to show you what it, how many uh, guys I can get in there before it totally crashes. Let's that was 50 frames last time, so let's have one more. And cross fingers that it does not crash. Okay. In the description, I will post a a zip file that holds this demo from the top view this right here that you can see right here and it will also hold another demo that I put together of them just shooting which is, looks really nice and in both demos you hit down spacebar to go in slow motion so you can see the, uh, the physics at play and hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to release a decent looking game with this AI and some other cool character um, controls um, sometime soon. And be looking for that. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Okay, thank you for watching. My name is Patrick Lurio. And check out some more of my videos.